Hello, North here, and today I am here to bring you another news update for release 2022.2. And we will be covering a number of major features as well as some minor features and bug fixes in this particular video. One of the things that we added in this particular update is support for using Java in plugins. It is now possible to use Java to make more advanced features such as mod elements. You will need to go to your preferences in mCrater and enable this feature in order to be able to load the plugins. In this particular update, we've also changed how the command element works. They use the blocky editor now, which opens up more doors for customization as well as more features such as arguments. Arguments now support numbers, logic, block state, item stacks, and entities. Plugins have full control over adding new blocks and commands now autocomplete using the tab button in game. In addition, we have also made some examples for both procedures and the command element to show you how things work. that we added was something called item extensions. Combines a few different features, changed the dispense behavior for items and blocks. The fuel recipe has been merged into the item extension mod element, as well as a new feature for composting items and blocks. Next one is for texture savvy people. We have added new texture categories to the texture window, entities, potion effects, particles, and screen textures. Final change is for the fabric and forge generators. It is now possible to switch between the forge and fabric generators. However, mCrater does not include the fabric generator into the base program, so you will still need to download and install the plugin for the forge generator. The link for this will be in the description below. Now we'll move on to some of the minor features in this magical update. As always, there are as many bug fixes in this particular update. Please see the description for the link to the changelog. That's all from me. Thanks for watching. Peace out.